Hey guys, hope you are doing good. In this video, I am going to quickly tell you how expensive is Japan to travel. The Japan travel expenses in this video are based on our recent Japan travel experience. A return ticket of Turkish Airways from Germany to Japan costed us $520. After food, wine and three movies, we finally reached Tokyo. For us, one of the most important thing is to stay connected and for that we got a data only sim for 16 days which costed us 5990 Since we were traveling without any Japanese currency, so we had to withdraw money directly at the airport with a transaction fees of 230 yen. But that was the first and last time we paid any fee for transaction. After that we withdraw money only from convenience stores where we didn't have to pay any transaction fees. Since the Narita airport is a little bit far from the main Tokyo city, therefore we had to take a limousine bus for which we paid 2800 yen per person. At the same route, there are some metro connections also available which we used at the end of our trip. Among several options, we found the Kesai main line to be the cheapest one with the ticket price of 1000 yen from Tokyo to the Narita airport. As soon as we reached Tokyo city, the first thing we bought was the Suica card. You can use this card in all the local public transports anywhere in Japan. Usually we had to pay between 180 to 500 yen for the ticket prices of local transport. In Japan, we traveled from Tokyo to Hiroshima while making stops at several other cities. For such intercity journeys, we chose to travel by bus. A 3 days bus pass costed us 10,000 yen. Once activated, the pass can be used on any 3 days within a period of 3 months. You can also choose a faster and expensive option of Japan Rail Pass about which we have explained in our previous video. During our trip, we stayed in different types of accommodations. The minimum we paid was 15 US dollar per person for a bed in a hostel and maximum we paid was 90 US dollar for a double room in a nice hotel. And one thing that I miss the most is wide variety of drinks available in Japan. From a vending machine, the usual price of drinks is 130 to 200 yen. Being a vegetarian, I did not get much chance to enjoy the Japanese taste. But Sid did not leave any chance to enjoy the flavors of Japan. For street foods, we always had to pay somewhere between 100 to 500 yen. The quality of food in supermarkets is also good and may cost you 250 to 500 yen. Whereas, a meal in a normal restaurant may cost you 700 to 1500 yen. But to taste the specialities of Japan, you may have to pay a little more. A round of omakase sushi costed us 3600 yen, while the oysters in Miyajima costed us 2600 yen. Sadly, Sid got severe throat infection during the trip. For the normal cough and fever medicines from a drug store, we paid 1200 to 2000 yen. But we heard that those medicines are not so strong and we finally ended up going to a hospital where we had to pay a fee of 9600 yen for consultation and another 9000 yen for the prescribed medicines. No matter what your taste is, Japan has something for everyone. Here are some of the famous activities that we did. Mori Digital Art is a highly recommended place especially if you are visiting Japan for the first time. A ticket to this place costed us 3200 yen. Though people have love and hate relation with robot restaurant in Tokyo, we would recommend it if you have some extra time and bucks to spend. We bought the cheapest ticket option with a price tag of 6,200 yen without food. 
instead of going for a day trip to mount fuji we visited it for 2 days for this we bought the hakone free pass which costs 5140 yen the pass includes a complimentary to and fro ride from tokyo to hakone and it is valid in all the public transports including the ferries in lake ashi another worth mentioning pass is the osaka amazing pass which costs 3300 yen for 2 days the pass is not just valid in the public transport but gives you access to several attractions and activities we even used the pass to visit an onsen as well if you found this video helpful and got an idea about the japan travel expenses then don't forget to give us a thumbs up and yes subscribe to my channel